गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रॉफिट लास एंड डिस्काउंट ओके सो बिफोर एंटरिंग टू दिस एक्सरसाइज पार्ट यू मस्ट नो दैट व्हाट इज कॉस्ट प्राइस सेलिंग प्राइस प्रॉफिट एंड लास व्हाट इज कॉस्ट प्राइस द अमाउंट फॉर व्हिच एन आर्टिकल इज बॉट इज कॉल्ड इट्स कॉस्ट प्राइस दिस यू हैव टू कॉपी दैट इन योर क्लास बुक्स द अमाउंट फॉर व्हिच एन आर्टिकल इज बॉट इज कॉस्ट प्राइस सो इफ आई एम गोइंग टू परचेज अ टीवी okay so that is my cost price for the amount which i purchased the uh, any object that is called as cost price selling price the amount for which an article is sold is called as selling price if suppose the tv which i purchased i am after one year i am selling to some other person so that is my selling price so i purchased the tv but after using that for one year i like to sell that to some other person so when i give to someone that gives me the selling price okay so cost price and selling price cost price can be denoted as cp selling price can be denoted as sp now profit or gain when you will get the profit when your cost price is more yes see when the sp is more than cp then there is a profit or gain therefore it is a profit that means selling price when your selling price is more than your cp yes if you are purchasing a cp if you are purchasing a tv and uh, you are selling that to someone else so what the amount you bought with then more than that you are going to sell then you will get the profit for an example i'll tell you with the list amount i am purchasing um, one tennis bat okay for rupees 150 so after using a week i want to by another one so what i am doing is i am going to give the bat which i have in my hand to someone else to my friend or to my uh, neighbors anyone so that i am giving them for at least 200 rupees so it, that gives me the profit why because when i purchase the bat cost us 150 rupees but i sell to someone i am just adding 50 rupees more than that then i am giving to another person so the profit is for me is just 50 rupees so it shows that when your selling price is more than your cp when sp is more than the cp then it is a profit is it clear then we are going to see what is loss same thing so now sp is less than cp when your selling price is less than your cost price then it is a loss for example loss is equals to cp minus sp when the sp is less than cp then there is a loss so first you must know know that what is profit and what is loss then we are going to see about the formulas what are the formulas which we are going to use here is profit or gain percentage which is nothing but profit by cp into 100 so profit means profit by cp into 100 loss means loss by cp into 100 is it clear and selling price if they you know the value either sp or cp you can use this formula when you know the profit or the loss so sp is equals to 100 plus profit by 100 which into cp and sp is equal to 100 minus loss by 100 into cp so that is if they may they might be given your cp and they may given your loss or they may given your cp and the profit so in this case we can use the sp so this formula will help us to find the remaining values so these formulas better you copy in the class book it's more important just copying is not enough you have to learn these formulas thoroughly if you know the formulas then we can go with the sums okay because after this the sums which i'm going to teach it's all based on the profit and loss so for better understanding of those sums you have to learn these formulas then it might help us to forward in the next sums okay thank you